الله Be with us from start to end, immense amount of knowledge about the heart of Quran. Surah Yaseen will be sharing with you and you'll be learning insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. This is very short and brief program, so do not miss this opportunity to learn. Ask your family members to come and sit with you in front of Madani Channel's TV screen and learn today's topic. Before we proceed towards our topic of the day, let's make few good intentions. Because my Shaykh Tariqat Amir Fahri Sunnah, Hazrat Allama Maulana Muhammad Ilyas Attar Qadri Dhamat Barakatuhu Al Aliya has given us a beautiful mindset to make good intentions before performing any good deed or doing any permissible task. I make this intention to present this program for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You shall make this intention. You'll be with us from start to end. Remember what you learn. Pass this knowledge on to others too. Insha Allah Azza Wa Jal. Remember, it is a saying of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, niyyatul mu'mini khayrun min amalihi, intention of a believer is better than his actions. And there is another saying of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, and part of that hadith is, inna mal a'malu bin niyyat. Actions are based upon intentions. And ulama, they mention, the more intentions for a particular deed or a task one makes, the reward is multiplied. The higher the reward that person attains. So you can add as many good intentions as possible for watching this program and learning the knowledge of the name Islam, insha'Allah, Azza wa As I earlier said today, we'll be talking about the uh, topics and subject which has been mentioned in Surah Yasin. Respecting those, in this Surah, in the start, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned Qasim. He's taken oath of Quran itself and mentioned that Prophet of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallama is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is mentioned that two groups were formed about the Risala prophethood of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallama. One group, because of their animosity and hatred, there is no hope for their Iman and faith. Whereas there is a hope for the other group about their faith in future. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is aware of this fact. He has this knowledge. And people of Antakya, there was a, a place, their example is also mentioned in this surah. They denied those prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They made fun of them and when a person came to advise them not to do this, they murdered him, made him shaheed also. So that person who came to advise them, he will go to Jannah, whereas those they murdered him will go to hellfire. And unbelievers of Makkah, they have been told about the accounts, the consequences what the previous nations faced when they denied the prophets and the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have been warned by mentioning their accounts so that the unbelievers of Makkah should not follow the footsteps of those previous nations those they were destroyed otherwise there is a possibility of severe consequences of punishment for them too further it is mentioned about the power qudra of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to resurrect dead again give them life after death again this power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also mentioned it has been mentioned the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallama is the one who warns people from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Quran and he gives glad tidings 
So people should be grateful and thankful upon the ni'mas of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another very important point which is mentioned in Surah Yasin is that shaitan is our open enemy. We have been told about our open enemy. We have been warned about our open enemy. We have been told that we need to protect ourselves from our open enemy and that is shaitan. And further it is also discussed in this very surah on the day of judgment our body parts will become witness against us. They will speak against us. My dear respected viewers of Madani Shail, today we do not care when we are sinning. These eyes will speak against us. They will become witness against us. These hands, these legs, these body parts will be given tongue and they'll speak against us. We should have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is also a very important fact which has been discussed in this very surah, surah Yasin. Respect viewers, we learned about the subject and few topics which have been mentioned in this surah, surah Yasin. Let me mention few fama'il, excellences and virtues of reciting Surah Yasin, its rewards and benefits. It is narrated by Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala and the Prophet of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, whoever goes to visit the graves of one or both of his parents every Friday and then recites Surah Yasin next to them, i.e. by their graves, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant forgiveness for him in place of each letter. This is the barakah, blessing, benefit and reward of Surah Yasin. And subhanallah, what a great blessing parents they are for their children. When they are alive, they are total blessing, subhanallah. And even if they depart from this world, they are yet blessings, subhanallah. They means of forgiveness. One, if he goes to their graves, visit their graves, sits there, recites Surah Yasin, he gets forgiveness, subhanallah. Love your parents, respect your parents, serve your parents in this dunya. And if they have departed from this mortal world, visit their graves, recite Surah Yasin, Alhamdulillah, they will benefit and in return, forgiveness will be for you too. Subhanallah. Sayyidina Safwan bin Amr radiallahu ta'ala and has stated, the respected scholars say that when you recite Surah Yasin next to someone who is close to death, the agony of death will be lessened for him. It is narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and that noble prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated, whoever recites Surah Yasin on the night before Friday, i.e. Thursday night, forgiveness will be granted for him. Make an intention. Every Thursday, at least every Thursday, the night between Thursday and Friday, inshallah, you should recite Surah Yasin. Sayyidina Aisha Siddiqa Tayyiba Tahira radiallahu ta'ala anha narrates that Sultan of Medina sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated there is one surah in the noble Quran which is referred to as Azam, most grand in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who recites it is referred to as Sharif, honorable in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the one who recites it will intercede for more people on the Day of Judgment than the number of people in the tribe of Rabia and Madar. The Surah is Surah Yasin. On page 594, Jannati Zewar, Shaykh al-Hadith Mawlana Abdul Mustafa Azmi alayhi rahmatullahi al-Qawi has listed many blessings of reciting Surah Yasin Sharif. Number one, if a hungry person recites Surah Yasin, he will be satiated. Subhanallah. If a thirsty person recites it, his thirst will be quenched. If someone short of clothes recites it, he will get clothing. If an unmarried man recites it, very soon he will get married. If an unmarried woman recites it, very soon she will get married. If a sick person recites it, he'll be cured. If a prisoner recites it, he'll be freed. If a traveler recites it, he will receive assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his journey. If an unhappy person recites it, his sadness and sorrow will be soothed. 
Whoever recites Surah Yasin in the morning, his entire day will pass well. And whoever recites it at night, his entire night will pass well. It is mentioned in Hadith that Yasin is the heart of the Quran. These are the blessings. These are the benefits and rewards of reciting Surah Yasin. Respected viewers of Madhuri Shalim, I hope you must have benefited from this beautiful episode of the excellence of Surah Yasin. And inshallah, I hope you must have made your mindset that you will recite this Surah more often, more frequently from now onwards, inshallah. That's all for today. We'll be back with another beautiful episode with another beautiful surah. Until then, keep watching Madani channel. Keep reciting Salat upon Nabi alayhi salatu wa tasneem and reciting the Holy Quran. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.